So why are we seeing these increases at the pump? The Russian invasion of Ukraine is a factor, but it's not the only reason. The whole story could be a bit more complicated. WRTV's Meredith Hackler joins us tonight in studio to break it all down. Meredith. Nicole, according to the U.S. Energy Information Administration, only about 7% of our oil and gas is imported from Russia, which bears the question, why are most Americans paying almost $4 a gallon at the pump? According to the experts I talked to, it has less to do with American energy policies and more to do with a global reaction to potentially banning Russian oil and gas. The United States has yet to ban oil imports from Russia, as have other countries across the globe. But according to experts, just the conversation about doing so can cause a reaction and fluctuation in oil prices. Oftentimes, oil prices can be affected by things that are actually happening, meaning actual reductions in oil supplies. Sometimes they can be reacting to what buyers are expecting to happen. Essentially, countries are reacting by stockpiling oil and gas in case action is taken against Russia. At last check, gas was fluctuating between $115 to $120 a barrel. But one economist says those high prices will likely encourage American oil producers to ramp up production. So right now, across Texas, across uh, you know the, the Great Plains states where we have a huge petroleum reserve, you're beginning to see pumps come back online. You're beginning to see refineries ramping up production. So those are all things that will moderate gasoline prices in the in the year to come. So why don't domestic oil companies always produce the same amount of gas and oil? But the reason that we don't pump gasoline when it's under eighty-five dollars a barrel is because it's not profitable for an oil company to do so. Regardless of American oil producers' plans, the oil and gas market is global, which means America is only a small piece of the pie, and the prices are determined by world markets. The policies that the U.S. implements and the amount of oil that the U.S. consumes can have some impact on global oil markets, but that impact is relatively small. Now, the experts I talked to did say the cost of gas in America is significantly cheaper than other parts of the world. In Europe, a gallon of gas can cost anywhere from 6 to $7 a gallon. They say it may take some time, but eventually gas prices will stabilize. Mark? Our Meredith Hackler, thank you.